Hi, this is Kiran Vedantam with Kiran's and Associates Realty. Also, I am the best-selling author, Cracking the Code to Success with Brian Tracy. We are here to serve you. So buying a home has been part of the traditional American dream for decades. So, if you have a successful career or a good job, you are under immense pressure, just like how you are under immense pressure to get married, you have immense pressure to buy your house. It's a big financial commitment and that can haunt you for years if you jump in before you're ready for it. First and foremost, you have to understand the cost. Even though there are programs for free down payment assistance that is provided by the government, your new home will extend far beyond your initial down payment. So don't forget also considering the mortgage origination fee, there is closing costs, there is interest, mortgage insurance, property taxes. On top of that, you also have utilities, then renovations, HOA fees, uh, typical day-to-day -day maintenance costs that you've probably never encountered when either you are living with your parents or if you are living in an apartment. On top of that, you also have to understand your finances. So the cost of homeownership aside, the question is whether you are yourself in a strong position financially to make the purchase. Only after you check off all those items can you really say, yes, I'm ready for it. One of the few rule of thumb is first you have to check your credit score. It's a good and excellent yardstick whether you are really prepared and financially uh, smart enough to m maintain your finances. And then you need to absolutely have an emergency fund. With the way the economy is going, you never know when you are going to be laid off. If you are a freelancer, you never know when your job project is going to be laid off. So you have to not only significantly analyze your risks, it's very important to have an emergency fund. If you have all of these things already covered, then the reason that you really, really need to find a house is once you figure out your lifestyle. Most of the single family homes might be too expensive in the area that you are used to living. So you have to be prepared to make the sacrifice of going maybe three to five miles out of the area that you are used to. And then not only that, you have to also make sure that you have at least some reserves for the home maintenance costs also. If you have more questions on figuring out whether you are really ready or not, you can talk to any licensed real estate professional to help you. If you like this video, do make a comment. If you don't like this video, message me and let me know what you think. Thank you.